students all are welcome to computer class okay now we will see the chapter number 5 that is applying formatting effects in the powerpoint slides okay now in this chapter now what is formatting effect i'm applying to what okay formatting effect means we can apply these formatting effects for the shapes uh, inserted or the for the text inserted okay now for the text inserted uh, we can change the font we can enhance the look of the text uh, we can uh, give the color for the font we can uh, change the appearance we can change the uh, settings for that means left margin right margin all this we can apply we can apply bullet also to make it more attractive okay all this we can apply uh, to the text which is, which are given in the slides now before that we have to uh, see what is slide master slide master means it's an element that that of a template that stores the information including font style placeholder size position of the text object and uh, bullet styles or background color all this it includes and it controls all the slides in the presentation slide master slide master sets the default layout and formatting for all other slides it actually controls an entire presentation any changes made in the slide master page automatically reflects on every slide in the presentation okay now here slide master option is shown okay it, in the pan uh, first one slide master slide is there and all other layouts are there for the different slides okay it consists of slide master consists of two things slide title placeholder and body text placeholder see it is shown text play, uh, title placeholder is on the top of the slide and the text placeholder where exactly you want which placeholders you want which text you want to enter all that now in the body text holder which which different things or uh, how we can apply different changes that we are going to learn okay now here we want to open a slide master view okay click on the slide master and then in the presentation view from the view tab you will get a slide master tab on that see there is a uh, edit theme uh, group is there you have to click on that and you can change the theme in the theme you can change the color you can change the font you can change the background so many things for that particular slide okay now if you will see you can change the color font background styles through this edit theme option if you will click on edit theme all the themes will get displayed you can change the color whatever color you want you can change the font accordingly and you can change the background style also okay now background background style uh, button is there you can click on that and a drop down list will appear select the required background from that select the font required which you want click on from the font font list will come okay but you have to remember one thing that text on the slide master is used only for styling the text on the actual slide such as titles and list should be typed in the normal view here you don't have to type the text only for the text which uh, formatting effects are getting applied that we have to specify in the master slide okay now we can give header and footer also to enter okay to enter the edit uh, of the content click on the header and footer of button in the text group okay here it is shown text group is there in the insert tab you click on the insert tab text group is there from there click on the header and footer okay give the header a header and footer dialog box will come out of that select the proper header and footer for that 
am then your slide master is ready it will get created it will get ready so you can uh, like that you can insert header and footer now suppose already some layouts are there in the slide master but you want to create a new layout you want to keep, uh, give many play, other placeholder placeholders which are not there in the slide okay so how to create that for creating a new custom layout first go to view tab then in the presentation views group click on the slide master after that see in the uh, uh, left hand side many slides will get displayed in the pan out of that scroll it and select the blank layout slide from the list okay after that after that we want to do some other things okay so we have to click on the insert slide master button in the edit master group from the slide master okay from the slide master tab here see this we have to cleanse click insert insert slide master button okay after that what will happen a slide master will get inserted now you have to click click the title slide layout now here after uh, selecting the title slide layout if suppose unwanted uh, placeholders if you want to remove remove those unwanted placeholders see here it is uh, um, uh, somewhat date time or um, headers footers if you want to remove you can remove and you can insert new placeholders but how to remove this placeholders for that on that border you have to click and press delete key it will get deleted one by one now suppose new placeholders you want to insert okay so you have to uh, click on the button insert placeholders a drop down menu will come which is shown here title text date or uh, slide numbers or footer something if you want to insert more uh, this placeholders you can add it okay this is about slide masters we have seen now suppose we want to see for the slides we want to change the colors okay how to change the colors for that first every presentation come with uh, color schemes different color schemes you can change the color schemes of the complete presentation or a single slide also for that you have to click on the design tab okay along with home tab insert tab there is a design tab you have to click on the design tab see here design tab is marked and shown after click, uh, clicking on the design tab you have to click on uh, see the themes group in the themes group in the themes group you will get the options colors font and effects correct after that you can change you can change the color if you want click on the color and change the color but before that you have to select any theme now suppose you have selected the theme which is having the color green and you want to change the color click uh, click on the colors and change the color instead of green color if you have taken orange color blue color that color will get applied this you can apply to any one slide or many slides if you want to apply to the particular slide accordingly you have to select the option or if you want to apply to the all the slides click the option accordingly so it will get applied to the selected slides or to the uh, to all the slides okay same way now we can change the background color okay now here theme if you have selected the theme that color we have seen how to change now total slides uh, background color only if we want to change we can change it normally we are taking the slides with plain white background color for that again in the design tab um, 
see background sty styles button is there okay in the background group correct can you see here which is shown the but the button is shown with the red arrow background style yes you have to click on that background style now after clicking on that a background dialog box will get open in that color it will show different backgrounds it will show and there is an option format background if you will click on the format background if you will click on the format background different backgrounds it will show you a format background dialog box is getting open out of this any background that is any color gradient or uh, uh, solid feel or picture or uh, a texture also you can use as a background okay now this uh, see this color button is also available you can see if you will give solid feel then you can uh, apply the plain color for that solid feel if you want to give picture or texture that is also possible now suppose we want to insert a shape and for the shape we want to uh, change the color or change the uh, texture of that uh, shape but first insert the shape now for in inserting shape there is a insert menu in that shape option is there shape and feel effects are there click on that select any desired shape after that when the shape will get inserted there is a shape feel button option okay on the design tool okay now out of that you can select the color any color which you want or the picture you can set or the gradient or the texture option one by one we will see gradient option gradient means the color combination is there and uh, somewhere it is light color somewhere the color shading is available through gradient option out of this which is shown here the gradient options are there you select any one which you desire so, so same will get applied to the shape which you have inserted or picture or texture feel option this is also available you can uh, uh, give instead of giving the plain color for the shape you can use the texture also or any other picture also so that that will get applied for the shape inserted same as your slide background okay same options you will get now after that we will see apply formatting effects for the text just now we have earlier seen formatting effects for the uh, shape or for the slide itself color and uh, texture and all suppose for the text which is entered on the slides we want to give formatting effects that all the formatting effects are given in the home tab its itself okay in the font group itself uh, font or uh, yeah it is given in the font group see it is given font itself you can change font size also you can change and then format painter means the uh, uh, which formatting effects we you have given to any one particular uh, uh, text which will get applied to another text also with the help of format painter option then it is bold italic and underline all of you know bold means it is dark italic means it is little bit slanting text you will get underline means all of you know the text will get a, a line below the below the text okay now there are buttons to increase and decrease the font size those buttons are also shown with the alphabet a okay now more formatting effects we will see the remaining formatting effects are shown here to decrease the to decrease the font size uh, again button is given that is small alphabet a then it is shadow button for the particular text if you want the shadow that effect is also possible and then where to place the text on the slide whether on the right side left side justified means uh, properly within the margins or at the 
center that is also those text uh, means alignment effects also you can give alignment options are available justify it aligns the text evenly between the left and right margin left align it aligns the text on the left side left margin right alignment it aligns the text on the towards the right margin and center align it aligns the text at the center of left and right at the center of the uh, uh, margins which are set on the left and right side okay all this is possible now after that one more thing that is indent what is indenting indenting feature is used to move paragraph or the first line in a specific number of places from the left side um, or the right margin left side or right side right margin to apply indent we have to follow certain steps select the paragraph or the line which you want to indent drag the left indent marker towards the right side now where is the indent marker it is on the ruler line if but if ruler line is not visible you have to get it appear on the uh, screen go to view there is a option to uh, get the ruler line on the in the document or not click the tick the box ruler line will appear on the screen okay now after that you have to move the indent drag the indent left side indent marker towards the right side how many places you want okay to indent the first line of a paragraph drag the first line indent marker towards the right side okay means you are changing the position of that paragraph or the first line okay that is indent the position of that uh, paragraph or line is the indent you can change it okay now like this we have learned so many things we have learned what is slide master how to give the formatting effects uh, in the slide master we have seen then how to change the uh, how to uh, give the custom layout uh, new layout uh, in the slide master that also we have seen then we have seen how to change the background how to change the color uh, the, through theme means in the theme in the design tab how to change the color for the themes that also we have seen then we have seen how to change the color or the texture or the picture uh, which we can put for the shape inserted correct then we have seen the formatting effects for the text how to give then we have seen how to apply indent all this we have revised so learn properly try to understand it and then we will see the next part of this video uh, in the next class okay then bye see you